Patients undergo coronary angiography. Sometimes we call it cardiac cath. When they have chest pain, we call it angina. Symptoms of chest pain, sometimes it's worse with exertion or emotional stress. The cardiac cath or coronary angiogram allows us to directly inject contrast into the arteries of the heart to look for severe blockages. It's a more definitive test after someone may have failed a stress test and has symptoms. And this is the artery that was blocked. Yeah, our procedure, we use something called moderate sedation, which is through IV therapies. We do not have to do full anesthesia. We don't have to intubate the patient. We can actually have a conversation with our patients while we're doing the procedure. We use catheters that we usually, nowadays, we do most of the procedures through the wrist. Sometimes we still go through the leg. We're using these long tubes that we advance to the heart on x-ray, and we inject the dark colored contrast dye and that contrast goes to the lumen, the artery. And areas that don't light up, that narrow, let us know that there's blockage inside of that artery. And if the blockage is severe enough, it'll cause chest pain and other symptoms. Not all blockages are the same, and it really depends on the severity, what type of medications the patients already are on, and then really weigh whether a stent is necessary or if it's okay to do lifestyle and medication as an alternative. We obviously don't know the results of the study until we're done taking the pictures. At that point, if it's something that's straightforward, if we know we don't have to do any fixing, then we're done. Sometimes we have to put stents in, and if it's a straightforward fix, we will do it right then and there. Anything more complex or if we think the patient requires open heart surgery, we're going to stop and we're going to have a good conversation with our patient and with their family to make sure they understand all the options available to them. So really, we want to tailor our therapies, whether it be medical therapy, stents, or surgery, based on the individual patient.